In this video, we will try to understand the need of left file and how to generate this file. So now, our objective would be to understand the need of a left file with respect to ASIC design flow and then we will have a brief overview of left file and see what information is contained in this file. So once we have an understanding of this file, the next task is to generate this file. So first, we will generate the .lef file using Virtuoso and Abstract Generator tools from Cadence. Later, we will be modifying some section of this .lef file such that the Pleasant Routing tool can acquire the required information about the layers and the cells. And this modification is done through objective number four, which is post-processing of .lef file. As shown in the earlier video, the simplified version of ASIC flow is shown again here, with an emphasis given to the Pleasant Routing process. As shown, the tool that performs the Pleasant Routing process is Encounter from Cadence. There are basically three input files that we need to provide for performing a Pleasant Routing process. Out of this, the .lef file is what we are going to generate in this experiment so that this could be used during the PAR process. Now let us focus on our second objective. LEF stands for Library Exchange Format. Basically, the Pleasant Routing tool doesn't require the full cell layout information as shown here, but it needs another view of a standard cell called the abstract view, which is what we need to generate in this particular experiment. As shown, it contains only the metal, the pins and the boundary. And it does not contain other informations like envel, poly and diffusions and such thing which are internal to the standard cell and the pleasant routing tool will not bother about these layers that are used inside the standard cell except for the metal layer and the wires. The left file describing a standard cell library has generally two parts. The header part basically contains information related to PDK technology that we are using. The cell descriptive part contains information related to cells that we built. So now let us focus to each of these parts to gain bit more knowledge about it before we generate the left file. The header part basically contains technology related information such as part of layers that are available in our technology, especially the layers that are involved in the place and routing process and not the other layer information like poly, diffusions, envelves, etc. It also contains a part of the design rules such as the minimum metal spacing, minimum metal width, and it doesn't include rules like separation of envel or the minimum width of poly or the minimum spacing between poly. It also contains library designer defined routing rules such as the value of the routing pitch and the preferred direction of the metal tracks and other geometric information of wires that are used. Optionally, it also contains some of the electrical properties of the layers in the library, such as the maximum current, the unit square resistance of the metal layers that are used, and all of these informations are basically shown in a snippet towards the right side. The cell descriptive part basically contains information about the abstract view of each of the cells that we have in our library. Um, that is basically the geometrical information. As you can see, the shape and size of cells defined by this, their respective boundaries are reflected under this keyword size. And even the location of the pins and the layers on those the pins are resting on, as well as the geometrical des description of other shapes in the same node are also being added under this pin keyword. Also, it provides 
the location of all the metal tracks and wires in the layout of standard cell which we technically call it as obstruction and this obstruction part basically helps the place and routing tool from prohibiting the passage of routing track in the same layer that is uh, say for example if a metal one layer is used for routing in the place and routing process the information given under this obstruction section helps the part process or the part tool not to accidentally route the metal one layer on top of this cell so thus in short it only gives the idea about the PR boundary the pin positions and the metal layer information of a cell without much internal details of the cells now let us focus on the tools that are used for the generation of the left file we know that the left file basically contains two parts and basically the first part of the left file is generated using virtuoso whereas the second part is added by making use of the abstract tool so once this file is ready we can use them during the part process so before we generate the left file we first look into the prerequisites that are needed to successfully generate the left file the very first prerequisite is the minimum number of cell requirement for the standard cell creation now those are the d flip flop nan nor and inverter gates we have already spoken about the naming conventions in our previous session and i will leave this naming format to you so that you can understand how to define the naming of each of the cells in our standard cell library or user defined library 